Hello again. Welcome to this lower body stretch sequence. Perfect for if you've just finished a class, finished a run, been sitting down at any point when you're feeling stiff in your hips, feeling uh, tight in your quads or your glutes, you've got any kind of muscle ache. Basically, it's just good to stretch, isn't it? Been for a walk. Um, often in, um, particularly in Kim Studios classes, we often we leave five minutes at the end for a stretch, um, but sometimes you want to just go that little bit further, especially if you're planning on working out again quite promptly afterwards the next day, just so that you're not feeling really achy. Um, so let's get straight into it. We're going to start lying on our backs and we're going to start with our feet to the outside of our mats and our knees dropping in towards each other. Now, what all these stretches feel like for me are going to be different for you, but I feel this around the tops of my thighs and hopefully the outer thighs. It's just letting the knees drop in and also depending on what you've been doing, kind of bringing the heart rate down, bringing ourselves into a kind of stretch mode, whatever that might mean. The more we can use the breath with our stretches, the more it signals to our body to let go. So we're going to inhale and we're going to exhale. We're going to do that a couple more times. I was reading about the notion of stretching and becoming more flexible and more mobile and it's not really a concept. What it is is a mental ability to accept the feelings that we have. So we feel like we just have to stop, we can't go any further and then that's okay and then the next time we, we think we maybe we could go for a little longer or a little bit further and that's how we increase our flexibility but it's actually not a real concept it's just about how much we can stand so our bodies have the ability to do all of these things it's just how much we can stand okay on that note you're going to drop your left knee out to the side rolling onto the outside of the left knee and those legs are both facing the left make any changes you want to so this is just Kind of a, an easy twist we're not we're not going in for anything in particular you might feel more of a stretch now down the outside of your right leg as that left leg kind of falls away you relax maybe into the upper body breathing in so you exhale draw it through the center and straight away over to the other side so the knee right knee now drops down the left is coming across that way, so outer thigh on that left side, shoulders relaxed, ribs relaxed. Don't worry too much about where your ribs are right now, that will come, I promise. As I know, we'll talk about where your ribs are, not your ribs will find the right place. Or they might. We breathe in and bring both legs back to center, heel toeing our feet together, now soles of the feet together, knees dropping out to the side. And now this is where our inner thighs maybe get a chance to stretch as our outer thighs relax. I often have my heels sliding away from me for the first few moments of this stretch, just as my hips and my lower back, my legs settle in, it also depends on the material of your mat. So a lovely cork slide for me. Again, just, just tapping into that idea of what the point of stretching is, why we're doing it and how it is really very a mental thing. Something that especially younger people, well, I'm not going to say especially younger people, me when I was younger, neglected and also because I was naturally, naturally quite flexible in that. As a child, I could withstand all of those positions without too much upset. So I neglected the stretching side of things and consequently my knees are not good, as many of you know. Enough waffle, let's bring the legs together. Okay, from here you're going to take your right ankle onto your left knee and this is something you're probably all familiar with as you reach through, interlacing your hands through behind your thighs, behind your left thigh. We're going to push with the right elbow into that fleshy part of our right thigh and you're going to push your hips down. So it's not just a relax into this position, you're pushing your hips, you're pushing 
that right knee away, hopefully feeling in your glute. Now your glute is a huge muscle, so when I say glute, it's a very general term, but hopefully feeling them around the back, up near the bottom, at the base, well, base of the bottom, top of the thigh. Breathing in here. Exhaling, letting the shoulders drop down and extending that left leg up to the ceiling. So just noticing if there's any change. And if you don't get a full extension of your leg, that is not what I'm interested in right now. Anyway, you're gonna release the right foot down to the floor, but keep that left leg stretched up. We're in our hamstring stretch. Slide your right leg away so we get a little bit of hip opening on that right side. Now this could be enough for you. And if you're finding already at this point that you're having to curl up, to reach around that thigh, then grab a dressing gown strap, grab a dog lead, grab anything. And basically all the strap does is becomes a longer arm. So that means you can keep your legs straight, you can keep your shoulders and you can pull against it. You can keep your shoulders on the ground and finish that sentence. So that's what straps do. They basically just elongate so that we can hold positions more easily. If you're finding yours not hard enough, slide that hand up. Holding here, breathing in, exhaling. We're gonna do four flexes and points. So we stretch out the calves of our lower body as well and point. Three more. Last two. And the last one, bending the knee, putting it down onto the floor, sliding up with that right foot. We're back to our neutral position. We're now gonna take our left ankle onto our right knee, reach our arms through you might notice any differences just on that side that you've stretched already there's always going to be differences side to side if there isn't please let me know so i can hold you up as a perfectly balanced person pressing that left elbow into your left thigh pulling the right towards you again we're not just passive here yes we're not pulling and pumping but we're not Passive. We're breathing in, we're exhaling and pressing our hips down as far as we can without obviously compressing our lower back and going into a really exaggerated arch, but with every press with the elbow and pull with the arms and press with the hips, we get a deeper stretch. Stretching out our right leg now, extending it up to the ceiling, and then bringing our left foot to the floor sliding it away again to open the hip flexor and making any adjustments noticing any differences on this side so sliding your hands up your leg keeping them behind your thighs adding your strap adding your elongation to your levers the levers being your arms here we go with our flex and point so calf stretch ankle lengthening calf stretch ankle lengthening two more Half and well done guys. Good, bending the knees, hugging both knees in, breathing in, exhaling, nodding our heads and rolling up, holding behind the thighs and just coming up to sit. Bring your hands behind you. We're gonna repeat the glute stretch. We're gonna take the right ankle onto the left knee. We're in a slightly different position. This is a really good one. So you turn those fingers away from you, you squeeze your shoulders and you push the left foot into the floor. So where we were lying down, we didn't have that pressure through the left foot, we were using our elbows instead. But we've got a little bit more strength now, we'll be push that right knee forward and squeeze the chest open. Breathing in, exhaling. You stay still, I'm just gonna shift over for the next bit. So you can see, you don't need to shift over. You're gonna drop to the side. So your legs literally just drop to the side. You're lifting up, you're on this slight diagonal off your mat now. You're lifting up, you're pulling that right knee in towards you as you reach your right hand behind. And normally we do this as a waist twist, but I want you to really pull the knee in and feel that there's a different stretch around the outer thigh there. Inhaling. Exhaling, the taller you can grow, the tighter you can pull that knee in towards your chest, making you feel the stretch sliding up a bit higher, up towards the base of your hips. 
Good, now from here, you're gonna really plant that right foot into the floor. You're gonna turn around and you're gonna to come to a downward dog position. So you go through this kind of elegant position and then reorganize yourself on the mat. So we're here, stretching out our calves in this position, both calves, breathing in, exhaling. Good, you're gonna drop both knees down to the mat. You're gonna come up and you're gonna take your right leg forward for your hip flexor stretch. So the right leg comes forward. And at this point, I want you to be making two right angles with your legs. So out to your knee, down to your ankle, down to your knee, out to your ankle. You're gonna reach your arms by your side. You're gonna take that front foot, the right foot forward slightly, so less of a right angle now, I stand corrected. Knee down to ankle is a diagonal. You're gonna lean forward and try and reach those fingertips towards the floor. So I know I'm away from you. You don't really need to see trying to just listen. So reaching the fingertips to the floor is really gonna help lengthen you and get into the hip flexor. Often we just kind of roll our bodies forward and maybe do that. Notice the difference to when you just roll forward to staying upright and trying to push the hips forward as much as you can, keeping your lower back protected. We breathe in here, exhale. You can put that leg, those hands down now. Tuck your toe underneath at the back. Lift up just for a moment. You're gonna lift up your front leg and take it down to the shin. So just doing that however works for you so that you can just have a little bit more of a base of support with your shin. You're gonna push your left heel back. Really use your hands as a counterbalance. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Sending that calf stretch. Sorry, sending that heel back for your calf stretch. Breathing in. Really step into that foot as you step back into your downward dog. Once again, pushing those heels down, breathing in. Exhale, back to your four point kneeling position. Roll yourself up. This time we step the left leg forward, wobbling. Finding that right angle at the back. I'm just gonna shift back a little. You might need to do the same. Finding the right angle at the back and then that slight diagonal at the front. Arms by our sides, lifting up through the crown of our head. We lean forward, try and reach the fingertips to the floor. You can see mine are nowhere near the floor. But I'm trying to lengthen out my hip flexor without just collapsing. Reaching down, open through the chest and shoulders. Really lengthening out through that hip flexor, breathing in. Exhaling. Breathing in, exhaling, bring those hands down. Tuck your right toe underneath now, lifting the knee off. Lift up your left foot and just bring that shin down to the floor and push your right heel back in that calf stretch position. If you have been doing lots of sort of bouncing on the toes, like my sweat to the beat class, or um, running and you find that your calves are really um, difficult to stretch, then feel free to do, go down to your stairs if you have them, or a step and just push your heels below. Apologies if you can hear some drilling. I thought that I had a clear window. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear it. Okay, we're not going back to downward dog. We're doing a really clever transition. So we're going to sit onto our right, so we're going to bend that right knee, we're going to sit onto the right knee, twizzle ourselves around, twizzle, official term, and we're back in that twisted position, but on the other side. If that was all too much for you and you're trying to turn your head and your camera's in the wrong place, then it's the left leg over the right. Lifting up and twisting, pull that thigh in towards you, breathing in. Apologies once again. I really hope you can't hear the uh, drilling. Good. Lifting and we rock back. Bring that right foot, shift back onto your mat. It's like me, you've moved. And you push that left leg forward, left knee forward. So we're back into this nice glute stretch, lifting our chest. Squeezing our shoulders together, breathing in, exhaling, 
Breathing in once again. Exhaling. Good. Well done, guys. Coming back and just swinging our legs around for the last time. Finishing with a nasty yoga stretch for our toes. I say nasty because I really don't like it, but it is really good for us. I've got my block. You can get anything. You don't have to have a block at all. It depends how strong you are. I'm going to show you the stretch first. So we tuck our toes underneath at the back. We sit our bottoms back on top of those heels and we enjoy. Now, if you wanted to, you could take the pressure off a little by just having that block there. So I can still definitely feel that stretch, but as I rock forwards and backwards, I feel it more intensely. You could also, if like me, you've got your knee problems, you could use your block underneath. You can use a cushion underneath, anything to just basically increase the angle at the knees so that you're not really putting too much pressure. I'm gonna try without. <laughs> so, the best thing to do here is to distract ourselves. So even though this is the upper body, sorry, lower body, we're gonna reach the arms up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower down. Can we do it two more times? If you can stay here longer, please, please do. This is the last thing we're gonna do in our lower body stretch. Last one, bringing it up. Exhale, bringing it down. Bring your hands forward, back to four point kneeling. Have a little tap out of those toes and well done. So there's your 10 minute stretch. We have one class on the schedule called bar and stretch. So we have um, 45 minutes of bar and then we have 15 minutes of stretching. So if this is that something you're really into, then have a little look at that class on the schedule. Remember five pounds for a five day trial and limited number of classes with Clifford Studios. I'll be back with an upper body stretch, with a full body stretch, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.